Hi, welcome back to my channel and thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to talk to you about the skincare peel off mask that I did last night. As you know, Saturdays at my house are about skincare and, uh, you know, while we're all stuck inside, date nights have <laughs> definitely changed. I have always tried to do a, um, kind of a pampering skin mask, whether it be a sheet mask or a peel off, a charcoal mask, a mud mask, um, you know, one of the many kind of luxury parts of beauty or skincare I've always reserved for my weekends and this is no different. During this time, it's been even more, that's a little fuzzy, it's been even more important for me to keep to my schedule and a routine and it's always been important to take time for skincare and self-care and it's you know right now the world's kind of a little crazy and yeah if doing a mask on a Saturday for 20 minutes you know helps revitalize me then it's a good thing so, the one I did last night is a peel-off mask. It's a Saki Bright White Mask by Basilia. And it says that it visibly even skin tone and diminishes the appearance of hyperpigmentation. Instantly moisturizes, yeah, plumps dull dehydrated skin while helping to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Well... I have to say I don't know that I see a difference in my fine lines and wrinkles, but what I did notice is that this Saki Bright mask was a little too intense for my skin. It says to leave it on for 25 minutes, and I only left it on for about 19. It just felt a little too intense for, for my skin. I love a good peel off mask so and i've tried other ones from this brand um like this black mask is one of my favorites so it's not the brand it's just a personal preference i think that this one is is maybe a little too strong for sensitive skin but if you don't have any um, sensitivities to uh, traditional brightening masks or illuminating masks, then maybe this one is something you want to try. I already went ahead and purchased this one, so it's in, um, you know, it's definitely going to be in my lineup. I just probably won't use it for the full 25 minutes. I didn't last night, and I think that's probably the way to go with it again next time. So I would say if I were to repurchase this one, it's not very likely that I would repurchase this one. There are better ones in their line, but uh, that's just my personal preference. So if you like this video and you wanna see more of my skincare reviews after, you know, a long week, I love to do it. I wear them every weekend as it is. So now reviewing it is just an extra part of the fun. If you're interested in this video, you liked it, feel free to hit like. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this video and leave me a comment below. Tell me some of the brands of um, skincare masks that you enjoy. I'm always interested in clean beauty ones. That's kind of my big push right now is to start using more clean beauty. So if you have any recommendations, please leave them below. I want to know them. And as always, thanks for checking in. Bye-bye.